This is Dr. Luis Sena describing my technique for nanoscopic distal clavicle resection. For this technique, we use the Orthrex nanoscope system, which includes a 1.9 mm single-use chip on tip arthroscope and a 2.2 mm sheath. Additional instruments needed are 2.7 mm by 3 cm cannula, a 2 mm soft tissue shaver, and a 3 mm burr. We start the procedure by locating the acromioclaviculoid joint with a spinal needle. The posterior portal is located just posterior to the joint and can be created percutaneously with no formal incision. The skin is penetrated using the sheath of the nanoscope and a sharp trocar, aiming 30 degrees caudally. This percutaneous method, without using the scalpel, allows less fluid extravasation and better pressure control. Once the skin and capsule are penetrated, saline tubing can be connected to the orthoscope sheath. The joint is rapidly filled with fluid and leaking can be seen exiting from the spinal needle. The anterior portal is created just anterior, direct in line with the acromoclavicular joint, also without a scalpel, but using an outside-in technique. A spinal needle is inserted into the joint in a 30-degree angulation caudally and visualized by the nanoscope. A nitinol wire is inserted into the needle and the needle is removed. A small cannula is then inserted over the wire and the wire is removed. With the anterior cannula in place, a 2 mm soft tissue shaver is inserted through the cannula. It is used for excising the articular disc when present and any soft tissue that is over the lateral end of the clavicle or obscuring vision. After using the soft tissue shaver, a high-speed 3 mm burr is inserted percutaneously to remove 8 mm of the lateral end of the clavicle and complete the procedure. The known diameters of the shaver blade and burr are used as references to evaluate the amount of bone that was resected.